good afternoon students uh, here we go uh, with the development of lateral surfaces of the solids uh, once we open the software uh, just to have a, a recap how to do a sheet setup when you click on the drawing you take into the window so here you can double click on the sheet one you will get into a window called sheet setup in that one you go to the background then select a4 save default and ok so when this one is done you need to delete these extra areas which they have provided as a default one go to the view background then go to the a4 sheet which we have selected in the beginning then fit to the screen and control a and delete everything so then go back to the view then switch out the background so now you are there in the active sheet now in the problem normally whenever it comes to the development so we are going with the section planes that is normally whatever the solids we have discussed in in the model number 2 like a prism pyramid cone cylinders tetrahedrons so all those things are placed on the hp and some of their edges or vertical faces are inclined at some angle to the vp in order to just uh, take a one example so we'll go with the easiest one where he says there is one rectangular prism okay of 40 by 25 and a height 65 mm it is resting on hp with uh, one of its vertical faces the so longer vertical face is inclined at 30 degree to the vp and uh, there is a cutting plane which passes through at the mid of the axis at an angle of 45 degree to the hp mid of the axis at a angle of 45 degree to the hp draw the projection of the development of the remaining portion of the solid remaining portion of the solid so now in order to do uh, such a problem so we can just note it down so there is one uh, rectangular uh, prism of uh, 40 by 25 that's a one thing okay so where the longer edge longer edge is inclined at 30 degree to vp vp and then there is a cutting plane which is inclined at 45 degree to hp okay so that is what uh, we can observe from the problem which are uh, there are stated okay so this how exactly we go with the problem number A seven in the video frame. Okay, so this is what exactly we need. So there is a rectangular uh, prism which is of the size 40 by 25. The longer size is inclined at 30. So inclination with the uh, VP is visible in the top view. So whenever we get a such a problem, we need to have a line, okay, which is uh, of continuous and point one three. Okay, we need to have the a two D projection with respect to the front and the top so once we draw this one so we go back to the x as well as the y line the smaller one and okay, then we have a command for a rectangle dropping a rectangle so we click on that one so we'll get the inputs here so width the normally we gave it as a 30 okay enter the height is 25 mm enter so when it comes to the angle here we need to give 30 okay why because that Longer side is inclined at an angle of a uh, 30 degree to the VP. So select that rectangle and make it a 0.5. Okay. If you go back now to the angle between, and if you measure the angle between the XY and the uh, longer side of the rectangle, so you can clearly see the angle is inclined. The rectangle is inclined at an angle of a 30 degree. Okay. 
so go to the uh, rectangle command if you click on that one you will get a width height as well as the angle so now you can give width as a 40 height as a 25 mm and angle as a 30 degree okay so normally in the planes and all we used to give the angle as a zero but here in the problem he specifies as the longer edge is inclined at 30 degree so this is how exactly we are going to do so one this one is done so especially here in the development we need to locate the center of any of the prism okay so in order to locate the center just drop the diagonal you need not to locate or name the axis but we need uh, the uh, midpoint or the center axis of the prism so one this one is done so better you go back to the naming here so we say one in the bracket a okay so two in the bracket b three in the bracket c and d in the bracket sorry four in the bracket d okay that means uh, so the lower portion of the rectangular prism is standing for a b c d and the upper part or the upper face or the top face of the prism is of uh, one two three four when this one is done first thing we will take it the projection from the center line that's the axis line just take a projection here and we'll change that one to the axis line then the axis length they have given it's a 65 enter then 90 that's the first thing we need to do okay so take the projection from the center till here you just drop the continuous line then from there to there we are going to have an axis line so now take the projection from each point that's a okay so let the continuous line So you can just drop the lines from each corner and then copy this axis itself because it's a prism go to the moon just copy on from the bottom face just press it to the four points then select each and everything let's make it first it's a continuous and point okay so now let's drop a, a single line from here to here and a line with a point five here to here okay so change the thickness let it be point five for a time being later we'll change this one okay so when this one is done go to the smart dimension so click on the two edges of the uh, rectangle and the axis okay that is what is needed now go back to the uh, naming so we'll write this is our a dash so this is our b dash so this is c dash and this is a d dash so we can just zoom that much area One dust and is done. You just go to the top face, and here we go with a one dash, two dash, this is three dash, and this is three dash. Maybe we might have done the movie wrong at the bottom face. So it's a flat one. We call this thing at the top. to the screen so this is D that's what we said right by doing the name so this is what this ok so this is how exactly we do the things ok so when this one is done so now the cutting plane is passing through the mid of the axis so we'll take a just a line so axis line and uh, five okay so click on any one point so forget about the length go back to the angle here you just give 45 degree 
it is inclined at 45 degree to the HP. Just drop here. So while moving this one, okay. So we just take this line. Go to the move command. Just copy or take any one end point. Just move on the axis line. Make sure that you are going to place it at the midpoint. We are going to place it at the midpoint. Now go to the trim command. Just trim the extra part here. And there itself, you go to the extend to next. Extend this line till here. Okay, that means so we need to develop the lower part here. So upper part we make it a thin. So now you have a command called a split. So split this line to the end of this line. So split this one to the intersection. Split this line to the midpoint. Split this line to the intersection. Split this line to the end point. Or select all these lines at the top. and make it thin okay so we need to locate or uh, develop the lower portion of the solid which is visible like this so now once it is done you just go back here so now our 4 is done you just give 5 dash this is 6 dash this is 7 dash and this is 8 dash okay so now Wherever these lengths are cutting, just give the name and make sure that those points are recognized with some name. Okay, so one this one is done. So this is actually the basis of uh, the development which we are going to do. Okay, so now once we complete this one, so that gives a basics that's like a foundation for the development problem. So you can just observe the things here. So when we start from A to the B, it is 25. So B to the C is a 30. C to the D is a uh, 25 again. And back 4 to the 1, it's a 1. So when you open up, cut and open up from any one corner, so you'll get a 4 folds. First fold will be 25, second fold will be 40, third fold will be 25, and the fourth fold will be 40. Means uh, you will have one rectangle. Okay, first uh, the width will be of 25. And the height will be of 65 and the angle will be of 0, okay, which will be placed exactly on this line. Okay, so means uh, so you can see the first uh, rectangle, okay, it is of ABCD, of ABCD, okay, which is also a uh, width is 25 and height is uh, 65. So then you copy the same thing for the next. Uh, so B2C it is of 40 enter 65 enter 0 enter you get one more rectangle which should be placed exactly in the form of this one okay so that means this is the second fold okay which we are going to get it in this one okay the third fold again it is c to d it will be again same one rectangle copy on okay from this corner you just move to the one more corner okay and the fourth one will be D to A. Again, it's a 40. So already we have one rectangle which is a 40 by 65. Just copy from one corner and place it here. Okay. That means when you open up a rectangle, okay, a rectangular prism, so it will look like again one rectangle. Okay, and the portion will be of a this length. So now go back to the smart dimension and click on each of these lines wherever. We need to know these things. And the old dimension will be from here to here is of the 130. And the smart dimension, so you can just click on this one. Smart dimension. Yes, it is. Okay. So now Whenever we are going to name here, these are of like capital. So this is A, this is a B, this is C, this is a D, and back to A when we are going to fold. And this is of 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is again back to 1. Okay, now we can see on 1A there is a cut at 5, there is a 2B, there is a cut of 6, and 3C there is a cut at 8 and uh, 4d there is a cut at uh, 7 okay 
So now go back to the line. This is important uh, thing what we are going to learn from here. Okay. So on 1 to A, there is a cut at 5. Take a line on 1A. So take it a parallel line from here to here, then back to here to here. Okay. Then on 2B, there is a cut at 6. So 2B, there is a cut at the 6. Okay. And uh, 3C here, okay, we, there is a cut at 8. Okay. That's the end point. So 3C, there is a cut at the 3C. Okay. And uh, uh, D7, that is a D4, there is a cut at the 7. So D7, there is a cut at the 7. Okay. So now, go back to the naming here. So here it cuts at 5. So here it cuts at 5. Okay. Then here it cuts at 6. Here it is at 7. You would have given this one as 7. It doesn't matter. So we will give this as a 8 and here as a 7. So this is what we are going to do. When this one is done, go back to the uh, uh, line of point 5. Okay. Start from A. It cuts at 5. Then B, it is at 6. C at 8. So D at 7. Then again back to the 5. Then back to the A. Then A. Okay. So when this much is done, outer line, then we can see these uh, edges which join from here to here. Join from end of this one to the end here, then one more line from here. So now, if you zoom and see properly, you can see the lower portion, meaning cut here, you cut this part, and when you locate here, okay, so this is. Uh, a portion of the, the solid okay which is left out here okay so the lower portion will be of the which is cut out at this point So that is what uh, specifically they are going to ask in the problem like uh, uh, do the development of the lower portion of the uh, salt which is left out in this. Okay, so if you do this much you will get a uh, 25 minutes. So thank you.